Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I journal and, and everything that I do for journaling. And I thought this would be such a fun video to film because I've just been recently started getting into like journaling and different types of journaling too, not just like one type. And so I really hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah, let's get right into it. So the first things that I'm going to be sharing with you guys are what journals I use and what are the reasons for both of them because they each have like a separate use to them. So first, I'm going to be sharing with you guys this journal. So this is my bullet journal and I've been so like loving bullet journaling recently and I don't know what it is. I just think it's just so fun. And before I say anything, bullet journals, like this journal that I'm sharing with you guys, like bullet journals in general are far more structured than this notebook that I'm going to be showing you and I'll explain that in a second. But this is my bullet journal and I really love it because it actually like says bullet journal on it and excuse my nails, they look disgusting right now, but we're gonna have to deal with it. I really like my bullet journal because it actually says bullet journal on the front and I just really like the color of it. And I think it's a really nice bullet journal. So in this bullet journal, what I do basically, this is more of like my life that is structured and this is basically where I like kind of take care of myself and have my goals and my monthly like planners and all that stuff. So the first page in this bullet journal is is this July calendar that I made. And I just start off the whole month with a basic calendar for the month with everything that I like need to do that month, I guess, and like all the birthdays and all that. So then I have that calendar. And then on the next page, I have my July goals page. So this page is just my July goals and the goals for that month. So as you can see, one of them is less phone screen time and the other one is drink more water. So for the next page, I have a phone screen time tracker. So it says phone screen time tracker. And then basically this is in like a shape of a phone kind of. And then I have a legend up here. So it's under three hours is green and then yellow is three to four hours and then red is over five hours. So then this is how I just color it in and then I have dates on the side and then I just color in each of the days with the color that's like corresponds to my screen time if that makes any sense. And then the next page is my water tracker. So my goals page I had drink more water so I decided to make a water tracker. So I have like all the dates and it's starting at 6 just because I started like this water tracker on like July 6th. So I just started from there. And then so I have five glasses each day and then I just cross it out whenever I'm like done. So that's like basically for the trackers kind of. And then I have this post quarantine bucket list. But um, then I have this post quarantine bucket list. I'm not completely done it. But I just think it's super cute how I have a drop shadow and these little stars to add detail. And I just really like it. Um, basically, I just write all the things that I want to do after quarantine, obviously. And then the page after that is a birthday wish list because my birthday is soon. So I just decided to make a wish list. So I have this wish list and I haven't done the prices of everything yet, but I just have like my wish list and I have these cute little like detail stars on the side. And then I wrote wish list at the top with like a banner design. So I think that turned out super duper cute. And then one last thing that I wanted to show you guys in this is my cover page for August. So I know it's not August yet, but I decided to still make a cover page for August for when August does come. So if you don't know what like a cover page, like basically I just write August and then I kind of just like decorate it a bit. So this is what my August cover page looks like and I just think it's so cute. I love the fruits around it. Also <laughs> my limes and my lemons are so weird. I just really like this cover page. I got this idea from Amanda Ratch Lee YouTube channel. So sorry for mispronouncing her name. I thought it was Amanda Ratch but I've come to know that it is Amanda Rachley, so sorry for mispronouncing her name, but now I know for next time. I also saw this idea on Pinterest, so I just think it's really cute, and I really like the cover page of August. I think it's so colorful. So that is all in my bullet journal. So now I'm going to be sharing what is in this notebook, and this notebook says, this llama wants no drama, and I just think it's a super cute notebook. So basically, this is just a plain notebook, and I know that a lot of people actually like journaling and actually like writing down their days and how they were feeling that day and like all their emotions just so they can get it out on paper and I don't love doing that just because I don't like having it on paper I'd rather just like, like talk it out to myself so I thought of a way that I could make this notebook super fun and I decided to make kind of like a scrapbook almost it's not really a scrapbook but it like kind of is like I don't know how to explain it but I'm just going to be sharing the pages. So the first page is about my best friend and it just says my best friend as the title on the top. And then I have a picture of me and her and then I have this like note to her basically. 
And that's like pretty self-explanatory. I have nothing else on this page. And I just thought this would be super cute because I've actually seen a lot of people doing it and I just thought it was super cute. So I decided to do it in this notebook. Another thing that I wanted to say is that, like I said, this one is more structured. And then this is just kind of my life that's all over the place and more about me and my personality. So basically the next page is a quote and sticker page. So I just have a quote. It says, why fit in when you were born to stand out? I really like that quote. So I printed it out and then I stuck it on here. And then I also just have like stickers. So I have this be yourself sticker. I have the love who you are sticker. And then I have these heart stickers. I also just took some scraps of paper and I just taped them on here just to add more fun to it. And I really like how this page looks. And then the next page is a doodles and quote page. So if you haven't already noticed, um, I'm going to be having a lot of quotes in this book just because I want this notebook to kind of be like a motivating notebook. So every time I open it, I'll get like motivated to do something. So basically it says some doodles and quotes. So I have, I've written down some quotes and then I added a sticker and then I just doodled on the page. It's just like whatever I do, whatever I want, I just doodle it. And that's pretty much all for this page. Um, there's nothing really else to it. So the next two pages are one of my favorites just because they're so colorful and bright and they really make me happy. So this page is a what makes me happy page. And I wrote what makes me happy in the middle and then I surrounded it with everything that makes me happy in a bunch of different colors which I really think is like nice. And then on the next page I wrote inspiring people. I printed out four pictures of people that I really love and I think inspire me. And then I just wrote their names at the bottom with little hearts beside their names because I think it looks super cute like that. And I also like covered the pictures in like clear packaging tape. I'm not sure why I did that. I just think it looks nicer. I, I, don't, I don't know. You can't really even notice it, but it just feels smoother, obviously, than the paper. And then the next page is an about me page. I just, um, in the center, I wrote about me with like a bubble around it. And then I just wrote a couple things, I guess, are like the basics of what you should know about me. And so I just wrote them all around and I added some stickers and cutouts and then... I added like a design on the top, so I think that's really nice. And then the next page, I actually saw a quote on Pinterest and it really just like stuck out to me and I thought it was so inspiring and motivating. So I decided to like dedicate a whole page for that quote. So basically this quote says, do something today that your future self will thank you for. And I really love that because with YouTube and everything, like I love doing it. And I just think like someday hopefully it can become like a career kind of. So I love this quote. And then I have again stars. I just think the stars are look really cute. And then I also just added kind of like a purple border-ish kind of thing. So I think that's really nice. The next page is like a random again like motivating page. What I did was I took some scraps of paper and I wrote some nice like positive sayings on them and some I just left blank because the paper is like itself is really cute. Basically what I did is I just stuck it all on this page so like one says believe in yourself and the other just says happy and then this one has like a sticker on it that says smile. So I think it's really cute and then I decorate it here and then I covered the whole thing in like packaging tape so like makes it look super glossy and just overall smooth for the next page i'm not done this page yet so but i'm still going to show it to you guys and explain what i did i have this. sorry if the angle changed guys i ran out of storage so i had to delete a few things but anyways i was showing you guys this page um basically this is like just a cute page with pictures on it but i have this like picture of me and my best friend and I kind of like put it in this like Polaroid um, frame. And then I have another scrap of paper that I just glued to the side, added some little hearts. And so I'm, I'm waiting to print out another picture so I can just glue it on here. So I just think that page is super cute because I love like Polaroid pictures. So for the next one is a my current favorites page. In this page, I just wrote my current favorites in the middle. And then I wrote at the top like the different categories. So there's Netflix shows, YouTubers, stores, food, and drink so then i just wrote a couple of like those things that are my favorite so like i have netflix shows gilmore girls um alexa and katie and then no good nick so i just have my current favorites and then my friend gave me this good idea that i should do this again in a month to see what has changed so maybe you guys should do that too i think that would be a really cool like way to see how you've changed in a way i don't really know this next page is bullet journal header ideas so I've seen these a lot on Pinterest. Basically, 
I'll just give you like a bunch of ideas for headers for your bullet journal. So um, like I showed you guys, I showed you guys this like my page with the wish list on it. And basically I had this cute little like header, this banner part. So on Pinterest, I found this like page where they just put like a bunch of header ideas for your bullet journal. So obviously it doesn't have to be just Sunday. Like it could be any header you want, but these are just like some ideas. So basically kind of like fonts almost. Um, so I just have these here to like for inspiration and I just really like it. So I don't have to do the same one each time. I can just pick different ones and make it look super like my super like own style, I guess. And I really like this page just because it'll give me so many ideas. The last page is this quote that I again saw on Pinterest and it just again like really stuck out at me so I decided to put dedicate like a whole page to it so this says don't quit but then on like Pinterest it had like X's over like the NT from don't and the QU from the quit so then it just leaves you with do it so I just thought that was like so insane like wow and that's all i have for this notebook so i'm going to quickly share with you guys what are the supplies that i use and then i'm going to do a page with you guys so this is the box that i keep like most of my stuff in this is from the dollar store if you're wondering so first off i'm going to be sharing with you guys the markers that i use so these are just literally simple basic nothing expensive crayola markers and you guys might be like Okay, girl, that's not for journaling. Those are like kiddish. Whoa. Are y'all markers? Markers are not kiddish. Markers are fun. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Um, I literally just use normal Crayola markers. And then um, for my cutouts, I just have these like really cute cutouts. So if you don't know what I mean by cutouts, basically like these little like borders and these to like just stick on into my notebook. And I only use these for my scrapbooking, not my bullet journaling. So like I have these frames and so I just glue these on and then I have one like this to love on it. So I have just a bunch of these cutouts and I'm not sure where these are from because I'm pretty sure they're from a scrapbook kit that I had a while ago and I'm not sure where that scrapbook kit is from. The next things that I use like for my stickers, these are all from the scrapbook kit so I really can't tell you where to get them. Just get any stickers that you like and fit your personality. So I just have these stickers, these, whole pa these two whole pages of stickers and I really like these just because they're just super nice stickers and something I would use and I just think they're really pretty stickers. And then lastly, what I use, I use like scraps of paper. Um, if you couldn't tell in this notebook, I showed you guys a bunch of like, I decorated stuff with scrap pieces of paper. These like tiny, like just decorative pieces of paper that you can probably just get at Michael's. And I really like these just like, I just cut them out and then I stick them on the page. And I really like them because they're just so decorative and fun and they just really add a lot. I don't know. They're super fun things to like work with. So yeah, those are all the supplies I really use. And then I just use a regular lead pencil. And also um, I do use like it's a black permanent marker for outlining, but I actually don't use it for outlining too much because it's actually, it bleeds through. So I need one that doesn't bleed through, but I use it for like my cover pages sometimes. So um, yeah, I just use like a black permanent marker, but I do need one that does not bleed through in the future. Now I'm going to be doing a page with you guys, which I'm super excited for because I've been wanting to make this page for so long, but I just had to wait till filming because I had to do it with you guys and the weather has just not been cooperating. So I really can't. I wasn't able to film. Okay guys, so I'm sorry for the angle. I hope it's good. I've never really done something like this, so I apologize for the angle, but I'm going to be doing this page called Daily Affirmations, and I saw it on Pinterest, so I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. I saw it on Pinterest, so basically, it looks like this. As you can see, they used, um, like, they used up two whole pages, so these two whole like, pages would be used up. But I think, I think I might only just do one page where it's just like daily affirmations in the middle and all the daily affirmations like around it. I don't think I'm going to use up two whole pages because that's just, that's just going to be like too much writing kind of and just, I don't think I'll have that many affirmations. So, but this is like kind of what I'm going off of. And yeah, so I'm just going to be doing this with you guys. 
they did it all in black but i'm gonna do it a bunch of different colors just because i think it looks nicer like that and that's just like how i like it I'm So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do my daily affirmations page. I think it turned out super cute. I really like it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys want to see next week. And also, I wanted to say something real quick. Um, I'm sorry if I've been kind of like off my schedule a little bit for posting on YouTube. I kind of have missed a couple Sundays. Maybe like, I've probably only missed like two Sundays in a really long time. But just know if I've missed a couple uploads here and there, it's just because I really want to take time to make my videos the best I can for you guys. So I really hope you guys can understand that. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week with a new video. Bye, guys.